Yeah, we are uh, discussing that edit text, right? So we are in between of that. So just yesterday, just we drag and drop here. So we not change this name. So one by one here, we will change this names. Okay. And after that, we will modify the next things here. Text password and number password. So already yesterday we seen that based on the type, automatically the keyboard is enabling. So that is the main advantage for here as uh, because uh, simply we can restrict. But in a web application side, this that won't possible. Like in case uh, because they uh, they they will use the physical keyboard here. We will use the virtual keyboard. That is the main problem. Right. Let us say here phone number. I want phone number. I want to restrict the max. 10, 10 digits. So max length, I'll put the 10. So means it won't give any alert, but after 10, it won't take any characters. So you want alert that we show, we will do from the Kotlin side. So that also we'll see if time allows, we'll see today. Otherwise, we'll see in next class. So almost it is done. Date, number signed. The last one more. So this is number decimal. So this we added like this. But now, first of all, I want to do one thing here. Like uh, here, I want to take one button. So when user clicks on that button, I want to capture the data from the user side. So for that, I'm taking one button with match parent and wrap uh, content. I'll give an ID for this ID. That is a uh, BT1. Then I'll give some text. So I'll give the text as a submit. So I have added like this. So just we'll give some margin. So, but one thing you can remember whenever we have more than five to six fields in a UI, you must give a scroll view. So here scroll view. I don't want to give a scroll view for heading. After the heading, what are the parameters of that? For that, I want to give a scroll view. But scroll view, always we can give for the layout. So must you can create one layout. So here again, I'm creating one more inner layout. So that is with the orientation has vertical. Then I partially close this. So on top of this here, now I want to uh, create the scroll view. Scroll view, match parent, match parent, and I close like this. so that now this we will close on the bottom. So meanwhile, uh, anyhow we are writing the action. So I'll enable the data binding as well here. So data binding, added the data binding here. Then I'll come down. So here first after this button. First, we will close the linear layout, then scroll view, right? After this, now whatever the layout it is created, so that I created, I closed after the end of this. Right, now first we will apply the uh, listener for the button. So then we will discuss other resources. So I am um, enabling here the data binding. So data binding, enable, equal to true. So since now, so in the main activity, I'll add that next step, bar binding column, bar binding column. So activity main binding will handle nullify condition. Right. So here I'll add that binding equal to data binding util dot. So here I'll add the, this. Right. So once this is done, we can now uh, here. So in the, there are the multiple around 10, 11, 10, 11 fields are there, but 
we will take one or two fields data so that we can understand how the data is capturing. So that we will see here now. <laughs> So it's like very simple how we are uh, setting the data, like same level, similar way, set data, get data is same, right? So like uh, whatever the field name, that get ID. So get uh, data. So like we will get the directly the data, get text. Okay, while uh, taking this data binding. So now yesterday was one thing we discussed right here. So what are the these common properties we added? So let us write that code while uh, loading this. So here, I want to reduce this code. If I want to reduce this code here, in RES, I am using here values. So in the values, first of all, I want to use the colors. So this is the colors where in the entire application, so if you want to fix the colors, so you want to fix the colors, so here now we can define the colors. So here we are using two colors, right? One is the text color, other is the hint color. So I'm creating here color, means the generalized, always we can like any application, normally we will use the issues here. So color, sorry, colors we will use here. This. So text color, so I'll give something color here. Next, so text hint color. So color hint. So I'm giving the hint color. So hint color. So this is like I given these two colors. So we'll change this color. So this is the text color, and this is the hint color. Or this is hint color. Like I given the two colors. See. Right. So this is done, I think this we will add. So we'll touch next to this uh, other resources. Just we touch this uh, colors. So what happens with this resources means whenever we use this resources, let us say I want to change the text color. So, but in entire application, we will use the text color is a comma. So once we'll change, it can affect in the entire application. If you want to like that, in every page, you have to go whenever the uh, client has to change the text color, you need to go each and every page and you need to update. So that is the main like here. So this is first we'll write the listener, we'll see. So for the button, I'm writing this on click listener for this button. So on click listener. So here now I want to check the data. So like this one, I name, I name two fields. We can check the name and mobile number we'll get here. Remaining also getting the text is same. So that is a uh, edit text to text. So that is. So this is the one edit text to text. So we'll take that. So whatever the data I'm collecting that I'll do this, this string. So where S2 equal to next binding that. So where s2 equal to binding dot so edit phone phone number we will take phone dot to string so 
So edit text dot here we use to get text edit text dot text. We need to get the text that we will convert into this get text. Edit text dot. Edit text up. Get text. Text. Right. So that we are converting into the string. So here also it is same. So whatever the from the phone number, we are getting the text and that we are converting into the this. So binding that. Okay, it will come. So now here we will write the toast. So toast dot make text. So here this is the red main activity. Come on here. I'll write the S1 plus S2, whatever the data we are collecting, that I'll show you. Then next post dot length long finally dot show what is the issue here okay extra this has came right now it is done so now i'm running this we will see the sort of now so while running this here we will see the next so in the themes so themes there are two themes one is the day and other is the night first we will write the in a day mode so here this is the predefined theme so here now we supposed to create a one uh, that is our theme style so we have to create one style so i'm creating one style here the style name is this we want to use for the edit text right so i'm using that style name as edit text style right so within this edit text style, uh, we will add the items. What are the parameters we have to add that we can add one by one here. So first of all, I want to add the width. So that is, we are using their layout width, right? So their layout width, we are using as a match parent, right? Next, next item. So I'm uh, using this uh, layout height. So height, layout height. So this we are using as a wrap content, wrap content. Then next, so text to size, text right. So we'll be one by one. So that is the text all caps, true, right. Next, next item. So text to color. Or text to size something we will keep. So text to size. So I'm giving here 20 SP. Next item. So text to color. So text to color. So that I'll give at the rate color. Already we created one property, right? So that we will give that from there. So that is here at the red color. So from the color. Color slash. First of all, here we should give this capital. Now it's at the red color. So what are the colors we created here? So text color. So your themes will give the text color. What happened here? Okay, handwrite colon color. Handwrite is missed here.
and right column text property. Now it will work. Right, I think this is run. We will see this output. See here, almost all have changed. Now we added the two things, right? One is here, text, and other is the mobile. So I want to submit this data. So here now I'm submitting this. See here. In toast, whatever the data we entered, that is coming here. This. So that is the one thing, like here. Next, here. I want to add other properties here. So after that, we will add the validation. So here now, the text into color. So I want to add the hint color, text into color. So that is the text color hint. So text color hint. I change, this is also we already given in the colors, right? So from the color, so we can access that color dot hint color. So that I given this. Next. So there are almost 10 properties right next to we are giving the item. So that is the margin. So margin, layout margin. That is 5DP. Next is the item. So that is the padding. So this is the padding. So the padding also we will give as a 5DP. Right, next, we given a background, right? So we'll give background. So that is the background. Background has, we'll give as at the rate, drawable border, we created the drawable border, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we missed one or two, we'll check here in uh, XML. So Martin style. So once we write the style, it will be clear. Now here in the themes, we will write here style. So that is I'm adding the item. So that we will add here text style. So text text style. So here it is text style. So we'll add something, italic or bold, something added, italic, right. So now this all the properties are done. So now if it is, this is finalized, just copy this and here you can paste in a night mode. So like means if user has used a dark theme and light theme, this can be applicable here. If you want to change like uh, for the dark theme, sometimes what we will do for the dark uh, screen, I want to modify this is a white color, this is a different color so that any changes that you can add in the night mode as a dark that will define the dark. So they will modify according to that. Right. Now here within uh, our this here, what we will do, how to reduce this code. So that we will see here. Now the properties has created. Now I want to reduce it. So what I'll do is I'm removing this other properties here. Right. I'm removing all these properties. Also, this, it, these properties also here. I write one thing that is a style. That is a at the rate style. So edit text to style. This is the line we will write for every. So just I'll copy. See before writing this, see almost it is a 240. Already we removed 10 lines. So means it is 250 lines of code. So how much it will reduce? We will see it. So number decimal. So these are the properties we removed. And here this place. Done. So for everywhere, we will add the same date. Here. So this is a max length we added extra property that I'm keeping as this. Okay. 
to this i am removing and here i am adding see here one more thing in a multi line so here i want to add some like i want to collect the minimum data from that is from user side so like for that i write min line so it is five so automatically that the height will increase up to minimum that is that, that property we can add so it is almost done This is missed here. Here we not added expect. The next here text password. So we'll remove this all the properties. Okay, stylized are we added. So here we used to add the style. Next three is there. So for three we will add. So done. Last phone number. So call number. Name. See now for all, it's automatically updated. See, almost we reduced to 50 50 percent of the lines in a single class. Like this, we will use this. Okay, let us say now I want to change some color. So immediately just go to color here. So this in the color, I'll change this to this something. So just go to UI. So you can check automatically here. It is not updated. Yeah, now it is up there. Now you can go to UI. So once they are changed automatically, the text color everything will change. Like whatever the properties you change in one place, automatically it can be affected on the entire place. So this is the advantage like resources. String resources are very plain and important. Here we touch it to themes and colors. Right. Next we will see this values. Well, sorry, in the strings. So this strings. Like here now, if it comes to here now, see there are a lot of warnings it is showing. Everywhere it is showing the warnings. So how to reduce this one? So to remove this warnings here, we have to create one string. So that is I'm creating one string. So that string name, this is heading, right? I'll put this heading. So that is for heading, I'll write here. That is the key and this is the value. Form, form example, I have created like this, right? Now here, Instead of this, here I write at the rate string. So that is what we created. See. Now here the warning has gone. So there is no warning. So that we can do one more like uh, apart from that, like here can do this here. By clicking here, it show extract string resource. So if we extract string resource also, the automatically it is created the string resource. So that's better we can do from here. But any readability like same phone number that is there, right? That we can change so that it will work automatically. So this is a number. We will change this number. So phone. We can change the phone. So it is done. Next text password. See here, uh, warnings count is reducing. So now 25, see, after few 24, like it is reducing the warning counts. Mm. 
Test and not good. Hello. So I'm reducing, creating this. So this is already this user, right? So what we will do here, phone number, there is a two times it is copied. So I'll use the direct string. So that is slash phone. I can use the UPS. So means almost wherever the phone um, phone is there, always we'll use the same key, right? So that's the reason that value is the same. So it will work with single key, it will work. So number decimal. Reduced and lost. Almost all string resources are created. Right. We can see it. See all string resources created like this. Right. Now then is there any so it is refreshing? So almost done. So a few are states. So for every text, one more is going. What is that here? So uh, set auto fill no. If you give this set uh, auto fill no means it won't save any data, any catchy data. So we used to use this nowadays as for the latest themes. We used to use this auto fill no so that it won't save any catchy data. Okay, now almost it is count is reducing. Yes, almost for this. Done. So, okay. this is for the layout, it is when so this we can do now. See, this is the error like the warning free. Like this, you have to do every XML file. So this is the, our goal, like uh, in a real time also, it comes to do like this, right? Now here we discussed, see in a resources, as of now, values, colors is for the globalization of colors, strings also globalize, and the themes, that is the common properties, for common properties for the similar products, we will use that. And the next on top of that, this map already we used, so the next, uh, next on top of that, drawable. So then drawable folder uh, we use for the size, right? Then uh, this, these are other resources. But apart from these resources, we can use some of the other resources also sometimes like uh, when I'm creating an animation, animation resources, font, font resources that we will see later. But currently these are the, okay. Then now I want to write the validation. Means I want to write some mandatory. How to write the mandatory? So, like uh, we'll handle for uh, two to three 
parameter so that like similar way you can handle for the remaining also like means one based on your requirements right now what i want to do here is now when i'm clicking this particular this so what uh, i supposed to do so directly instead of uh, setting this uh, thing i i want to do something like here so instead of directly collecting the data here now i'll ask one method here so is i'm creating one user defined method so something you can create uh, on your name like here first we'll create on the top globally where is all fields is all fields check i'm creating like is all fields check something that is a user defined you can do something else no problem so i'm clicking as here i'll write initially it is a false this is a boolean so initially i was this then once user has clicked, now here I'll treat as a is all fields checked. Just I'm defining this method here so that it will treat uh, already in uh, this we discussed, right? It will treat as the positive case. Right, it will treat as a positive case. Right, is all fields are checked means it will treat it as a true. Is all fields checked? Is all fields checked? I think it is a. Is all be checked false? Okay. Okay. Now here I write if is all fields checked. So it is a true in case here. No need to check boolean, right? If it is true, then I'll execute this. I'll execute this else. I need to write else. Else means automatically the that will execute automatically. This is like in case it is valid, otherwise it will go to this method, right? So with this with this name, so what I'll do is I'll create a one uh, boolean invoke here. So I'll create here uh, one method. So that is a private function private private. Oh, sorry, we used to write uh, outside of this on grade. That's the reason it's not coming. So, outside of on grade here, we should write. So, that is the private private function fun. So, this is the same name I'll write here. Is Alfin sect. So, that is uh, with the uh, Boolean. So, this is with boolean right so here i'll define boolean but okay. now here i want to write for the few things uh, first i'm writing for the name if binding binding dot so text for the name i'm writing so for that simply for name there is no specific validation, right? Just I'm checking the length. So length, 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 length equal to zero. So in case the length equals to zero, I'll ask the user has to select the piece. So otherwise it will exist. So length equal to zero. Then here I'm setting the error for the particular message, like binding dot, binding dot, edit text, text. So dot set error. I'm setting the error for that set error. So set error. I'm setting the error. So please uh, enter name. So otherwise it will be executed. So here, uh, in case if it is there, here what it will give the return value as the false. It will give the return as the false. So that the boolean value will get false, so it will be x. So let us say next. I want to check for this is for the uh, 
फोन तो फोन एडिट टेक्स्ट फोन राइट फोन आई एम टेकिंग सो फर्स्ट आई एम टेकिंग दिस इस कंडीशन सो हियर I want to write else also. Like means I want multiple conditions for this. So what is the multiple here? Else, I'll write the same. So that is a. Sorry, we used to write that in else if, else if, else if. So instead of the length, uh. If it is not equal to ten, so then here I'll set up this mobile number. Mobile number must to be ten digits. Right, like this we will write. So here it unfolds. So it is set up for mobile number. Right, it is like this. Then if all these are executed, last we will write as the. All these are positive. We'll get so then here yes, we'll write the return true. So then it will be valid. Now in case if this condition is valid, then only our toast will work. If our condition is not valid, then our toast won't be worthy. So that we will see here now. so for validation some people will use the libraries also some uh, libraries are available so that is uh, like uh, what is the awesome library so validation awesome just uh, this awesome library we used in one project but uh, maximum of cases we are using our uh, regular uh, this only we will do our manual intro manual only because that manual one we create uh, all validation so that only this is awesome way. awesome means no need to write much things so github SRC. Me. So for this, so there is a dependency we need to add. So, so which class it is added? Say so directly. Uh, added there. Yeah, here it is. Validation is added. See, like this. Awesome dot validation ordered. That means this these all are automatically it will come when you want to use boolean. So directly they will set this validation for that particular component. So how set it? Awesome dot add validation dot activity r dot c pattern c mail pattern. So automatically this is for email. Like automatically it will set like this. So that is the validation we will use. But suggestible is to go for the manual interruption. That is, uh, this is not suggestible. But somewhere we got an issue. Following our the JPM signature is all field checked. Where is all field checked equal to true? Test something will add. Maybe this is the keyword.
So sometimes methods which are predefined methods, if we give that also, it won't take. So just we'll add that. These all fits check to get all fits moving. The name is check. So validation. So we use these all fields checked. Then these all fields. Okay, we should uh, all fields checked is the different message. Okay. I thought here it is. This all fields checked. Here we are using that these all fields checked. So whatever we are defining that we will write here. Here check all fields. So with that check all fields only, this has created here. So if all fields check is the predefined that we are using here, is all fields check. Right, so these are the Yeah, it is laughing. See now directly I'm taking this. So it says that here it is error. So now enter name. So I entered something. So then I have submitted. Now we got here error. So now I'll enter two letters, two to three. Then I'm submitting this. Here. Okay, okay. You are used to write wrong. Equal to we write ten equal. To. So we should write here it is not equal to right. Equal to ten means it is it is executing. So then we can write less than less than ten. So it will give that for the less than or equal to ten. Less than ten, it will give the condition. Right here, how we handle that? Less than or equal to ten, it will work. 
so less than or equal to 10, it will give an error mark. enter name and submitted this now it is showing here here i'll enter four digits submitting see now it is saying that please enter 10 digits like this so once we enter 10 digits then it will call it like we will enter here two, three four five six seven eight nine ten sorry no oh, one more i think now One, two, three, four, seven, eight, so it will be working like this. Right now it is one. So this is the validation pin. Right. So this is our validation in the edit text. In next class, we will start with advanced edits. That is the least three things. We will start on Monday. Okay.